So what do we think of the HTM Tori all-terrain electric bike? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today, we're doing our first impressions of the HJM Tori step-through electric bike. At about $1,600, the Tori fits into the budget category, but without sacrificing features or quality. In this video, we'll discuss the features and let you know whether the HJM Tori is worth the price. And just a reminder, our goal is to always be unbiased and transparent with our opinions. This video is not endorsed or sponsored by HJM Bike, so let's get to it. All right, so today we're gonna to unbox the HJM bike, Tori. The box is okay. I mean, I noticed some bulges over here. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? I can already tell this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle for one person. Packaging looks good. Looks like there's a lot of padding. So it looks like we have the pedals, toolkit. The thing is the headlight. And then obviously this is probably the charger. Owner's manual. All right, this is the front tire. This is huge, this is 26 inches. And we're used to riding on 20 inch, 17 inch tires. This is massive, I can already see. The brake light is on. <laughs> so I wonder how we turn off the brake light. That's the first thing. some padding over here. So far so good in terms of how this is packaged. This definitely feels quality, you know, it doesn't feel like they skimped out on shipping this. So it comes with this toolkit. We're trying to install the front wheel, but we have our first hurdle. This has to come off. This is just like a thing they put on for packaging. All right, so we have our socket wrench. It's actually a 14 millimeter socket wrench. So we'll have to use another wrench on this side just to hold it in place. All right. So let's install the headlight and the front fender. Something like that. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so we will just tighten Tighten this up. We'll connect the headlight, adjust the fender, which looks to be pretty close. You have done that yourself. Our HJM Tori Step Through e bike is all assembled. Just had to put on the handlebars, fenders, headlight. The wheel was probably the, the thing that took the longest to install. Kind of big, so you need someone else to hold the frame up. I think if you're on the shorter side, it might be a little bit big, but it is a step through, so you can adjust the seat height. I'm still able to sit on it. Not quite flat foot, but pretty close. Definitely feels heavy duty. I think these wheels are huge, so they would definitely go over all kinds of terrain, especially with the knobby tires. This rack is really, really nice. It's connected to the frame in a way that's very, very heavy duty. You got multiple connecting points. The uh, battery is actually removable, so you get a set of two keys. You have this little arm over here to pull the battery out, so that's really convenient. And what's cool is this battery has a button over here, so when you press it, you can see your battery life, color display, you have your battery reading here, your speedometer, odometer, and uh, total miles on your trip. So if you hold the plus button, it actually turns on the headlight. You also have this RST fork, so you can adjust the rebound and all that good stuff. Also, you'll notice here, this is where the controller is. So I really like this. It's kind of inconspicuous, not in the way. The Velo seat is comfortable, you know, so I don't know exactly what this is for. It looks like you can mount something over here. So there might be some accessories on the HJM site. For a brand new company, you're always kind of wondering if they cut any corners on the design or the packaging, but it looks like everything is solid and well thought out. So before we get into our first ride, Let's go over the specs. The HGM Tori Step Through is a 750 watt e bike with a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The bike is powered by a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery 
that's removable. At first glance, the toy looks kind of big. However, the frame is a step through, which makes it accessible to a wide variety of riders since it's easy to get on and off. As far as components go, the HGM Tori has a Shimano 7-speed transmission system, Tektro disc brakes, a half-twist throttle, an integrated front headlight, an integrated rear rack, fenders on both wheels, an RST suspension fork, 26 by 4 inch anti-puncture all-terrain tires, a full-color LED display, and even turn signals. Some of these features are impressive at this price point. Also, this design makes it ideal for urban commuting since it has a large rear rack. So now that we've covered the specs, let's take it out for a ride. Okay, so this is our first ride with the HGM Tori step through. It does look probably really big on me. So I'm gonna lower the seat down, turn the bike on. Feels fine. The bike is really lightweight. I have set to, I think, pedal assist one. See how this feels. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I like this. Feels kinda, feels really comfortable and lightweight. I'm not mad at this. The acceleration is really good. Let me bump it up to five. The turning is uh, really responsive. It's a really nice bike. <laughs> yeah, this feels like I can I can really throw this bike around and turn really well. Now, I'm just kind of wondering how the pedal assist kicks on. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Okay, so here's pedal assist five. 14, 16, 17, 18. 20 miles per hour, so it's, yeah. Only got up to 17 over there, but I thought this bike would be too big for me, but um, it's actually really, really maneuverable. Yeah, I, I like this thing. <laughs> um, the suspension is fine. I didn't really take it on any, any crazy bumps, but it is, uh, it feels really good. The pedal assist kicks in. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay, but it does kick in and you do feel that burst of speed. The half-twist throttle is nice. Since I am on the smaller side, I think there's a way to um, adjust the stem here so I could bring it a little bit closer. Anyone over 5.7 should be fine on something like this. What I'm most surprised about is how light the bike is and how maneuverable it is and how easy it is to kind of whip around. Um, even though it's like this kind of moped fat bike style, big tires, it doesn't feel like it's heavier or more cumbersome than just a traditional road bike or even a mountain bike. And again, I think uh, just how light it is, it's, you know, you can easily kind of, you know, lift this up, up the stairs. It's not bad. First impressions are, this, this is cool. I like this. In terms of looks, it has a very off-road aesthetic with matte black throughout the 6061 aluminum alloy frame, except for a few HJM logos. We do like how the controller is integrated vertically on the bottom of the seat tube, which gives it a stealthy aesthetic. On first glance, you can tell this is a bike made for hauling things around. With its large rear rack and optional mount for a heavy duty front rack, the Tori is built for more than just simple commuting. Because the frame is big, the step through frame is fine for anyone over 5'2". The LED display is basic, but gives you all the data you need, like remaining battery life, the speed setting, and distance traveled. Range is about 45 plus miles with pedal assist and much lower in throttle only mode. Now let's take the HDM Tori out on the streets. Now there are um, five pedal assist modes. One to five, and then zero is throttle only. Right now I have it on zero, so I am only using the electronic throttle. Uh, the bike is kind of loud, I, I definitely can, can hear it, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna bump it up to f pedal assist five. The pedal assist does kick in. There's a little bit of a delay. So this does have a Shimano seven speed transmission system. I like to keep it in high gear all the time. Um, if I want to get more exercise, I'll bring it down to a lower gear. Uh, and in terms of range, uh, pedal assist will give you about uh, 45 plus miles of range. Now, now that I have the uh, pedal assist activated, I do notice um, the momentum slows down if I, if I stop pedaling. So I don't know if that's like a regen thing or what, but 
it is noticeable. Now, in terms of comfort, um, the 26 inch wheels feel really good. You know, this does have an RST fork, so I am uh, absorbing a lot of these uh, bumps in the road. I definitely have it set to, I think, my weight, so the rebound feels good. Um, it, it's comfortable. You know, the seat, the Velo leather seat, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wide seat. It's kind of like a standard, traditional bike seat. Uh, nothing special. It's, you know, it's, um, I'm kind of used to the moped-style cafe racer seats. So uh, it's, it does feel a little bit stiff for me, but that just might be because I'm not used to it. Overall, even though this, this bike is kind of big, it's really lightweight. And I think, um, I think it's perfect for you know, commuting downtown and because of the, the uh, rear rack and how that's laid out and the ability to add a front rack, I think you have a lot of options in terms of using this thing to just haul stuff around town. So the 750 watt motor is fine uh, for this, you know, this class of e-bike, but, um, you know, it does well for, for the weight of this bike. I kind of think that it, you know, it pushes it just enough uh, combined with the you know the 48 volt battery um, it's fine it's it's just enough you know I think if it was 36 volt it would be lacking something for sure now the working brake lights and the turn signals I think that's a really cool feature that's not something I've seen common on you know this style of bike or this category of bike especially within this budget so our first impressions are that the hjm tori step through is a fine affordable e-bike that works well has decent components and performs as good as some bigger name brands at only 14 amp hours the battery seems a bit limited for a bike this size our battery reading had some serious voltage sag especially at full throttle. However, these are minor issues that actually keep the cost down because batteries can get expensive. And this isn't a bike that needs to be modded, and that's actually the point. It's built for the casual rider that isn't ready to drop over $2,000 on an e-bike. An expensive e-bike is not a financial investment. Instead, it's a lifestyle choice. If all of that makes sense, then the HJM Tori is the right bike for you. If you wanna dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side, and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.